HVI's PTS series are durable DC high pots and megometers used for high voltage testing on electrical apparatus. Common devices under test, or DUTs, include hot sticks, rubber gloves, motors, generators, switch gear, circuit breakers, cables, aerial lifts, and other loads that require regular withstand testing. The PTS series combines the convenience of a small and economical device with the higher power rating and enhanced features that in-field use often demands. HVI is proud to offer a field-tested unit that combines continuously adjustable output voltage with a megometer scale for convenient resistance measurements while the high pot is in use. The PTS series high pots all feature continuously adjustable voltage, zero start and external interlock safety provisions, and transit protected meters designed for the rigors of infield testing. Select models include a ferroresonant input line regulator that helps minimize line generated output fluctuations that operators may experience in certain field conditions. In this video, we'll be reviewing the control and display features of the PTS series, getting set up for a test, testing with a grounded return, testing with a guarded return, an explanation of how these modes differ and what happens during test failures. Control and display features. The main power switch for the PTS series high pots is located on the bottom left of the control panel. When turned on, the display light will illuminate in red. PTS series high pots have high voltage circuit on and off LED indicators found on the bottom right of the panel. When the device has the main power turned on, but the high voltage circuit is not energized, the display light for off will illuminate in green, meaning safe. When safety conditions are met, the high voltage circuit can be turned on and energized, which will illuminate the on display light in red, meaning caution. The PTS series high pots have two main meter displays, a combined current meter and megometer, and a voltmeter. These meters are on the left hand side of the panel and each come with their own range switch. The voltmeter is located on the top left of the panel. When the high voltage circuit is energized and activated, it displays the voltage level. The meter has two display ranges, which are controlled by the voltmeter range switch directly to the right of the meter. When the switch is set to the low range, from zero to half the maximum range, the voltage is read from the bottom scale. When the switch is set to the high range, for voltages from half to maximum range, the voltage is read from the top scale. The current meter has five display ranges, which are controlled by the current meter range switch, directly to the meter's right. The current meter displays values between 0 and 1, and the current level is read from the bottom scale on the meter by which range the switch is set to. Current meter ranges are expressed in black boxes. When the switch is set to the times 1 scale, the meter can display currents from 0 to 1 microampere. When the switch is set to the times 10 scale, the meter can display current from 0 to 10 microamperes. When the switch is set to the times 100 scale, the meter can display current from 0 to 100 microamperes. When the switch is set to the times 1000 scale, the meter can display current from 0 to 1000 microamperes or 1 milliampere. When the switch is set to the times 10,000 scale, the meter can display current from 0 to 10,000 microamperes or 10 milliamperes. The current meter also contains a top scale for megometer readings. This allows for easy calculation of resistance levels for the DUT right from the same device. Following the inverse relationship between current and resistance at steady voltages, as expressed through Ohm's law, the megometer runs in the counter direction to the current meter. Resistance ranges are expressed in red boxes and represent multipliers. When the current meter range is set to times one, the megometer range multiplier is times 1000. As the current meter range switch turns over to high current ranges, the megometer scales are representing smaller ranges. When the current meter range switch is set to times 10, the megometer range multiplier is times 100. When the current meter range switch is set to times 100, the megometer range multiplier is times 10. When the current meter range switch is set to times 1000, the megometer range multiplier is times 1. When the current meter range switch is at its highest, times 10,000, 
the megometer range multiplier is times 0.1. To calculate the actual resistance, wait until the output has reached a steady level. Then, simply multiply the megometer scale reading by the red multiplier on the range switch, and then multiply that product by the voltage shown in the voltmeter. So, for example, a reading of 2.5 megohms on the red times 1000 multiplier at 60 kV DC can be calculated by first multiplying 2.5 by 1000 and then multiplying by 60. The resistance in this case would be 150,000 mega ohms. The PTS series high pots have three lead connections one for ground, one for load return, and a high voltage out. The ground connection is located on the top right of the panel and is an important safety element used to properly ground the entire device. The load return connection is located directly to the left of the ground connection. It's used to return any current from the DUT through the current meter. The PTS series high pots have two return modes, which are controlled by the return mode switch directly below the load return connection. When the device is set to ground position, the current running through the ground lead and return lead will display in the current meter. When the device is set to guard position, the current going to ground is shunted around the current meter and only the current through the load return lead is displayed. PTS series have an output dial located on the right hand side of the panel. When safety conditions are met and the high voltage circuit is energized, the output dial will control the amount of voltage being applied to the DUT. The output dial also functions as a zero-start interlock, one of a few safety features for the device. The output dial must be set at zero to initially energize the high-voltage circuit. With a zero-start interlock, the high-voltage circuit cannot be energized unless the level of voltage is initially dialed down to zero. The PTS series also have an external interlock key, another safety feature for the device. The external interlock is located on the bottom middle of the panel, below the current meter range switch. When the interlock key is not secured into the external interlock, the high voltage circuit will not function by design, even if the output dial is set to zero. The interlock key is compatible with different manually operated switches, such as thumb switches or foot pedals. These optional accessories allow the external interlock to function as a dead man switch, only when the switch or pedal is actively depressed will the high voltage circuit function. The moment the switch or pedal is no longer depressed, the high voltage circuit will turn off. Getting set up. Move the PTS series high pot to a location that allows for an easy view of display meters and a safe distance away from the DUT. Make sure the device controls are off and all dials are set back fully to counterclockwise positions. Follow all your local safety regulations and practices in your workplace, including any personal protection equipment, or PPE. Connect the ground test lead to the ground post connection with the forked prong. The other end of the ground test lead has a black alligator clip. Ground the PTS series device to a solid earth ground with the clip. The load return lead is colored red. Connect it to the low side of the DUT. Return the low side of the DUT to the load return post by attaching the load return lead. Make note of how the return mode switch is set. See the ground or guard explanation for which return mode is appropriate for different settings. The high voltage output lead has a red alligator clip. Secure the high voltage lead to the high side of the DUT making sure that there is enough clearance to grounded objects for the intended test voltage. Ensure the external interlock key is in place. Please note, the high voltage circuit cannot be energized without the external interlock in place. Unravel the power cable. Plug in the input power cable into the grounded power supply. Select the voltmeter range for the intended test voltage. Testing with a grounded return. Once set up, double check that the voltage output setting is in zero position. 
and that the interlock key is secured in the external interlock. Check that the ground lead is securely connected to a grounding element. Check that the return lead is connected to the low side of the DUT and the high voltage output cable is connected to the high side. Check that the return mode switch is set to ground position. Check that the voltmeter is at the lowest setting. Check that the current meter is at the highest range setting. Turn on the main power button. When the device is initially powered, the main power light will illuminate red. The PTS series device will indicate the high voltage circuit is currently off by illuminating the high voltage circuit LED in green. Make sure the voltage output is dialed to zero. When the voltage output is set to zero and the external interlock is in place, press the high voltage circuit on button. The high voltage circuit is energized. Once the high voltage circuit has energized, slowly turn the voltage output dial clockwise to increase the supplied voltage. The voltmeter will now display the voltage. Raise the voltage to the intended amount for the DUT. Now note the amount of current that's displayed in the current meter. If the current meter display doesn't move much, switch to a lower range for optimal readability to times 100, times 10, or even times 1. When the meter display needle settles between 0 and 1, measure the amount of current as indicated by the meter. Testing with a guarded return. For certain tests, you may want to measure withstand capabilities by measuring only the current that flows through the return lead and not any of the current going through the ground lead. For tests such as these, follow all the basic safety checks you would for a test with a grounded return. Double check that the voltage output setting is in zero position and the interlock key is secured in the external interlock. Check that the ground lead is securely connected to a grounding element. Check that the return lead is connected to the low side of the DUT and the high voltage output cable is connected to the high side. Check that the voltmeter range switch is set to the lowest range and that the current meter is set to the highest range. Now, switch the return mode switch to guard position. Now, repeat the steps as you would for a test and grounded return. Turn on the main power button. With the external interlock in place and the voltage output dial at zero start, press the high voltage circuit button on. Raise the voltage with the output dial to the intended test voltage for the DUT. Read the current level displayed in the current meter using the current meter display range switch as needed. The use of guarded return allows for very accurate current measurements. When in grounded return, the current meter will read all current to the ground, internal, and external to the test set. This current might include corona, surface tracking, and shunt resistance. The typical diagram for grounded return operation is shown in diagram 1. When the output return is set to guarded mode, the current meter will only read current through the DUT. The DUT must be isolated from ground on the low side, as shown in diagram 2. Note that the current to ground is returned after the meter. About test failures. The PTS series high pots have an internal overload relay as one final safety feature. The overload has been factory set at 11 milliampers of output current. Anything beyond the overload limit and the relay will power down the high voltage circuit to protect the device and the personnel. For further resources and reading, please refer to our user manual. Thank you for choosing HVI and our three generations of engineering excellence.